everybody, this is Raz, and you know what? I got my NES black screen going, and as you all can see, I'm loading up Castlevania! Of course, it looks like this is the Spanish or Portuguese version. I don't know. All I know is that I know the game well enough that I don't need to know the language so much. Let's get started. Basically, you're Simon Belmont. And you whip things. Time to stop Dracula. Those hearts are not energy. They are used for ammo. And I'm gonna pick up this dagger just because I want to. Welcome. Die. Oh, those don't stop coming, by the way. Money's used so you can get some extra lives. Ah, uh, this feels so much nice. So familiar. This is also one of the most frustrating games that new gamers from the new school have. Old school gamers recognize this all too well. Bastard. And the infamous cat. And let's see what's this. Money. Jump. Got you. Where don't you go? Get away from time. Right now we're looking pretty good. Ooh, extra money. That's what's up. I think this is the end of the first stage. I think this is gonna be the end of the first stage if we keep this up. Die. Die. Oh, nothing over there. Ooh, time stopper. The stopwatch stops time. The dagger you just saw me demonstrate. The time watch. Oh, and that's a rosary. Pretty much. Flash, bitches! But let's continue on. And our first annoying enemy of the game, a bat. And... You really can't get up there right now, so you gotta go around. Oh, wall meat! You want that. Hidden inside certain walls is meat. MEAT! You want meat. Those are mermen. You'll see more of them later on. Die, mermen. Now, right now, you also you also realize that Simon does not have a full range of jump control. If Simon gets hit on the wrong spot, he is officially fucked. What the hell was supposed to be down here? Well, fuck it now. I don't care. Course. More that big heart, so we get a chance to time stop stuff. Now, not everything, not the, the stopwatch don't work on everything. I believe the weapon of choice for most players in this game will be the axe. Me, it's not going to be the axe for this game. My weapon of choice is going to be either the cross or, on certain occasions, holy water. Oh, that was elixir. While under the influence of elixir. You are temporarily invincible. And that's our first boss. What you want to do is you want to freaking... This is one of the few times I recommend the axe. Because he tends to freaking be crazy. But for a first boss, he's not too bad. He ain't too bad. Fucker. Die. After every stage, you get a red orb. And you won. That was stage one. Oh yeah, horror is the time. You get extra points. Based off of how many hearts you use. Notice I'll try not to use these sub items too much. And the V's your extra lives. Going into the castle. Looks like we're heading up a little bit. Those are called living armor, and I got the weapon of my choice. This is the uh, cross. By holding up and pressing the B button, you can throw that. Trust me, that's gonna come in handy later on. Especially against a certain somebody I wanna kill. 
Also, this begins one of the most legendary musics of all time. So feel free to take the time to appreciate the music. Oh, fuck it. For those who played uh, Harmony of Despair, you'll see remnants of each ver each stage in Castlevania 1 in a DLC. Now, remember I told you, Simon doesn't have a full range of jump. So, jumping is very spotty at best. Try not to screw that up. Oh god! Sign, and you see floating heads. Welcome, Medusa heads! This has traumatized many a player, to include the angry video game nerd. And probably Chris Boris as well. And Gamer Dude. Of course, with a full whip right now, I'm not getting beat no time soon. Unless this happens. Oh! Shut up, people! Even I'm allowed my mistakes. But I lost my cross in the process, so. Karma has a fucked up way of saying, hey! You play by our rules, not by yours. Just because I need a sub weapon, I need to bring out this. Ah! Dang it! Yeah, Medusa heads tend to oftentimes give people the worst of things. That was my clumsiness. Like that! I got one life left. Now, if I remember correctly, zero does count, so I got a spare life after this. Oh, we ain't gonna let stage two stop me. No. Oh! No, no, no. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Whip! Whip this motherfucker in his ass. Sometimes enemies will drop extra hearts and stuff for you to work with. Alright, we ain't gonna stop this time. Oh! You cheap motherfucker. And... Ah! Yeah, sometimes this game gets cheap. I'm not gonna use any save states in this unless I have to stop for the night or if I get too tired. Even I have my limits. Bastard! Give me my whip! Yeah, I'm already fucked, so... Let's see how this turns out. There we go. Oh, uh, no. And I missed my, oh, extension. Let's continue. Got my cross. And I'm not gonna waste, waste it this time. I'm gonna use it real quick. Whip number one. Whip number two, thank you, Bad. Alright. Like I got to- uh oh. Fuck. Uh, I got holy water. Yes. Holy water is work like that. And trust me, you'll see why- Oh! Two holy water! Thank you for glitching on me. It's good for this. If you can aim it. I got time, so I'm not too worried about it. Take your time, though, fucking around with Medusa's heads. Uh uh. We're not gonna lose my two shot. Fuck that. I already got two shots on my holy water. We're gonna take good, we're gonna make good use of it. Three! We got a triple shot. Now, sub-weapons do get extra shots. So, look forward for that. Damn. Ah, there goes my triple holy water. Motherfucker. Cheater. Ooh, rosary. Either I picked up a ROM hack, or this, the number random, the random number generator is loving me right now. Right now, I'm looking pretty good at 20 strong. Die. Whoa. We have that. 
Then the armor. And there's something up there. I'm pretty sure of that. Heart. Oh, fuck. You want to be funny now. Ooh! Wall meat. Ah, that's where it was at. Okay. Screw. Time watch. We're gonna need this. Watch. That takes care of Medusa heads for the most part. You see? See, what did I tell you? We was gonna need that again. And right now we are a little behind the time curve here. That's okay. Okay, those are the instant death. Time it, jump up, and get killed. This is technically you're not supposed to stop here, so. Here you go. Okay. There you go. And those over there are bone pillars. As I go for my second whip upgrade, the one that little thing behind me are ghosts. They become more pessimistic later. It usually takes about six shots to get rid of a, a, bo a bone pillar. Now, the beautiful thing about a bone pillar is that, okay, not good. You can you can attack the projectiles they use. And up we go. I think we're up to Medusa at this point. I want to say that. Cross. And now remember, I needed my stopwatch for this. Yeah, it's Medusa. Now Medusa is going to be a pain in the ass. Because... You got to freaking... With a full whip, you should have the distance you need. Oh! No you don't! I will not let Medusa rob me. Woo! It takes you to stage two. Currently at 12 minutes. Let's move on. And now the long corridor to stage three. I I think this start okay, this ghost? Get my holy water. Oh, those things! Those are hunchbacks! They are the precursor to flea men. Trust me, you'll know more about flea men later. Every every old gamer know about the hunchbacks. They are a menace to kill and a pain to get rid of. And our first introduction to skeleton. Trust me, they become staple. They come become staple, easy to kill enemies later, later on in the series. So don't don't feel so don't feel so ti don't feel so tense right now. They just in the first games they become oh another annoying enemy type. That was the crow. And this ghost one don't don't want to leave me the fuck alone. Yeah, you want to get rid of crows as soon as you see them. At all costs, you get rid of crows. Oh, no, you don't. You sneaky bastard. We'll move on. Alright, we had a checkpoint. I forgot to tell you about those doors. Every time you go through a door, you're at a checkpoint. But if you lose all your lives, yeah, it goes without saying. You have to start from the beginning of the stage, as you all saw in my first game over. And the return of Medusas. Luckily, I can just bypass most of them. Oh, you son of a bitch! There's wall meat. Oh fuck, I'm fucked. Indeed, I am. I thought I had was I thought I had some wall meat. The best thing you want to do is if you can't whip them, just wait until they're at the lowest point and jump. There's the upgrade. 
Mm. Fucking skeleton! And you want to get away from the Medusa heads is all possible in this game. They become pain in the asses. Up. Oh. oh, damn bird! Like I said, you can you can whip the projectiles from the bone pillar, but it usually takes about six shots to get. It takes six shots to get rid of those. Well, the pros you can kill in one shot. Oh! Staple. We're gonna take a quick break. We'll be back.